Hello everyone and welcome back to the floating head of Simon TV. The first round of the French elections commences today and here's what you need to know. The polls are open in about five hours and election results uh, will start to roll through at, at about 8 p.m. French time, which is uh, around about 6 a.m. New Zealand Standard Time. I'll be providing rolling coverage as events unfold on my Twitter feed and producing video content uh, of the things that I see that I find interesting. Okay, um, looking at the polls uh, right now, um, the far right slash populist Rassemblement National are very much in the lead on 35%. They're followed by the uh, Front Nouveau, which is the far, far left coalition on 28. And then the ensemble, the, the um, centrist coalition led by Macron's uh, Renaissance Party is trailing on 20. Uh, the, in terms of the politicians involved, uh, for uh, Rassemblement National, Marine Le Pen and, and Jordan Bardella, they are pretty much keeping their powder dry. They are very confident of victory. But all eyes are actually going to be on to other people. One is Macron. Uh, it will be very interesting to see uh, uh, which way he goes. Um, he has a choice to make between the far left and the far right. Um, they have a thing in France called the cordon sanitaire, which is a method of preventing the far right from getting into office. If he invokes this, as they have done in the past, he will instruct candidates to stand down rather than compete in various constituencies to give the far left candidates um, the potential to win. And he may also instruct voters to Hold their, hold their noses and vote for the far left. If he does this, it's going to make a lot of people in France very, very unhappy. Uh, the other person to very much keep an eye on is, is uh, this man. This is uh, uh, Jean-Luc uh, Mélenchon, Mélenchon rather. Um, he is the far, far left leader of uh, Front Nouveau, the far left coalition, uh, who is an absolute firebrand. If there are demonstrations and riots that kick off in France, it will be because of dog whistles issued by this man. Um, if if you're an Australasian and you happen to be in France and you happen to see this, uh, look, uh, be careful, stay out of the Banlu. Uh, if you see large groups of people moving in one direction, move the other way. Uh, and I never say this, but definitely do not film and do not photograph anyone. French demonstrations are no joke. Don't make the mistake that I once did and think of it as an opportunity as a tourist to go along and have a look. OK, all right. So that's the summary of what is happening in France. It is going to be fascinating to see what happens over the next 24 hours. I'll start coverage um, on my Twitter feed rolling from about 6 a.m. Auckland time and I'll be re re uh, producing video con content as uh, events unfold. So tune in then, uh, I'll look forward to seeing you.